I want you to turn up. You know, you say, turn up. No, this ain't about twerking, this is about working. Yeah, yeah. This, this ain't about flossing and golf, glossing. This ain't about being G'd up from the feet up. This ain't about you wearing Gucci or Louboutin and Louis Vuitton. This ain't about you wearing Balenciaga. This is about you being able to balance life and balance your books. You got to turn up. I told you my favorite two classes in school were gym and lunch, but this is where I learned in chemistry class. I learned in chemistry class that water steams at 211 degrees, but it boils at 212 degrees. Isn't it interesting? It's just one degree difference from steam to boil. Somebody in here, you just one idea away. You one assignment away. Right? You one person away. You one mentor away. You one teacher away from being able to turn your dream from steam to boil. But are you willing to work hard to do it? Are you willing to make the choice today to say, I'm gonna choose excellence over excuses? I'm not gonna be late to class. I'm not gonna be late to my life. I'm not gonna be late to this, that, and the other. I'm not gonna be scrolling just on social media and just being on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok and just twerking on TikTok. Right, I, I understand that it's not just about being on Facebook, it's about me putting my face in a book. It's not just about being on Twitter and just having a lot of followers, but how I lead those who follow me. This ain't just about Instagram. To, it's about me loving myself and loving the common woman and the common man. This ain't just about Snapchat. It's about me understanding that I got to change my story. This ain't about just being on TikTok. It's about me understanding that I got to take advantage of the time that's on the clock. I almost died. I almost gave up. Life is short. What am I doing with the time that I have? You notice something? And I had to, I've already buried about two or three of my loved ones already this year. There's a, there's a birth date and there's a death date, but between the birth date and the death date, there's a dash. The dash is what do I do to dash through life every single day to live on purpose, live with a purpose because I got a purpose. Right? Y'all in red boxes and gold bowls, y'all are gifts to the world. The tragedy is to be gifted, but to never open the package. The tragedy is not just to be gifted, never open the package, but it's to never use what's in the package. If you don't take advantage of your time, if you don't take advantage of your, your academics and your skills and your gifts, you're wasting your life. I, I've seen on social media a lot of people saying, I understood the assignment because somebody's G'd up and the feet up, girl. She got, she got her dress on, she got her pencil skirt on, she got her hair whipped, dip fried, dyed, laid to the side, she got her nail done, hair done, everything did. Are you fancy, huh? I got some bars, trust me. Right? But here it is. Here's the real question. It's not just, she, did you understand the assignment? But what are you doing to complete the assignment? What are you doing to complete your assignments? Some of y'all are only operating on 10% of your, of your, of your self-worth, of your value, of your inner genius. Right? How do I use the negative sting to follow my dream? Yeah, your father wasn't there. Yeah, your mother wasn't there. Yeah, you may have been abused. Yeah, you may be depressed. Yeah, you may be going through this, that, and the other, the vicissitude of this trials of life. But how are you going to use the setback as a setup for your great comeback? Right? Your test of testimony, your misery is ministry, your message of message, your stumbling block is a stepping stone. God used your setback as a setup for your greatest comeback. I told you, number one, what I tell you? About y'all listening? I told you, turn up, right? Come on, say turn up. Turn up. I want you to do this. I want you to change. Look through a new lens of life. Look through a new lens of life. Where are my glasses wearing? Glasses. I used to be wear glasses as a kid and say, hey, you got four eyes. Now y'all y'all stunt. Y'all got Gucci glasses. Y'all got Ray Bands and all this other stuff. But here it is. Life is 10% what happens to you, 90% how you react to it. You say that twice because it's all so nice. Life is 10% what happens to you, 90% how you react to it. This is what we do. The tragedy is that we focus on the 10% to where the 10% now becomes 100% of our lives. Let me, let me say that again. Life is 10% what happens to you, 90% how you react to it. Oftentimes we focus on the 10% to where now the 10% becomes 100% of our lives. What do I mean? The pain that you've been through is only 10%. If you've been through stuff like I've been through as a cancer survivor, 10%, as bad as it was, people who you thought were gonna be with you but they betrayed you, didn't just stab you in the back but stabbed you in the face, 10%. The tears you cried, the abandonment you felt, the depression, you seeing your homie in the street, dead. You going to your friend's funeral. As tough as it is, 10%. How are you going to use the 90? 
How are we going to turn the 90 into what's going to be part of your life? You got another 90% of your life. You can't give up. You can't throw on the towel. You can talk to somebody, find a counselor, find a therapist, find a teacher, find a mentor. Find somebody like me who cares about you. Because you got to understand that your life matters. And if your life matters, your academics matter. If your life matters, your, your friends matter. If your life matters, everything that you do and you put your hands to, it matters too. Right? I got to look through life with a new lens. I got to change my perspective. Listen, if you change your perspective, you, you'll change where you're going in life. I got I to gotta look through life differently. I got to see my world differently. I got to speak life over my life. Every single day, you got to affirm yourself, right? Kings and queens, young kings and queens, you got to speak life over your life. The first three letters in cancer spells what? Man. Come on, speak to me. Man. Man, right? I had to find the negative positively. I had to speak, I had to find the negative positively. You, you look at the word impossible. I, I wasn't always the best reader growing up, so I put an apostrophe between the I and the M, and it's I'm possible. You delete the letter T from the word can't. It's, 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 the, it's the word can. You got to turn what people say you can't do into what you can do. By the time you hit the age of 17, you've heard the word no 10,000 plus times in your life is what researchers say. You got to turn the no into new opportunity. If people tell you no, the biggest yes you got to tell is you. You got to tell that dream yes. You got to tell college yes. Right? You got to tell your life yes and move it to another level. Least. I'm not going to bore you today. I'm not going to take all your time. Last but not least, bounce back from a setback. Big Sean, I think he went to Cass State, didn't he? Yeah, there we go. He said, last night took an L, but what? Tonight I bounce back. Come on, y'all act like y'all know no rap. Last night took an L. Right, because if you're going to take an L at all, it's not just for loss. It ought to be for love. It ought to be for life lessons. It ought to be for leadership. It ought to be for leveraging your purpose, right? It ought to be for not just leaning to your own understanding, because if you do that, you're going to fall. But it ought to be able to bounce back from a setback. Every single person in here, you got a story of what you've overcome, of the adversity that you've experienced, right? This Black Excellence series is so instrumental, so monumental, because when you think about the word African-American, the last four letters in African and the last four letters in American spells what, y'all? I just can, but I can. Right? You got to crown yourself. You got to tell yourself what you can do. Too many times we told ourselves what we can't do. You got to understand this. Your words create your world. What you speak into the atmosphere will appear. Your future or your funeral is on the tip of your tongue. Death and life is in the power of the tongue. What words are you saying over yourself? If you say you can or you can't, you're right. Belief and doubt are both the same thing. It's still belief. What do you believe about you? Not what society says, not what CNN says, not what NBC says, not what Fox News says about you, not all the stereotypical views about what young people are doing and not doing in society. I'm looking at new school Martin Luther Kings. I'm looking at new school Coretta Scott Queens. I'm looking at new school Malcolm X. You come from leaders and individuals who survived and now thrive. Don't let them tell you that your, your history just begins with slavery. You come from kings and queens. So guess what? If you come from individuals who align the pyramids with the stars, don't tell me that you can't do math and science. If you come from individuals who opened up schools, Bethune-Cookman College, if you come from people who started HBCUs, historically black colleges and universities, don't tell me that you can't balance your books. Because you do a disservice to the people who came before you, their blood, their sweat, their tears, the nameless and the faceless individuals who thought it not robbery to say there's a generation coming after me 100 years later who will be here in 2023 and understand that this is the year of intentionality. I got to be intentional about my life. I got to be intentional about who I surround myself with. If you're around people who ain't going nowhere, they're going to stop you from getting there. You got to bounce back from a setback. You got to look at life through a new lens. And you got to turn up. Come on, I, I just want, I just want y'all, come on, I just want you to just put your hand over your heart. No, we ain't pledging allegiance to the flag.
Come on, we pledge allegiance to, the, to ourselves. Come on, if, if you really about this life, if you really body about it, I would take it all the way back old school. Right? If you really going to keep it 100 with yourself to say, I got to step it up. I got to do what I need to do. I don't need to be a class clown now. I don't need to be having my mama on my back and telling me what I need to do when I know I need to do it. I'm pledging allegiance to me and my greatness. Come on, say, I can. I can. Say, I will. I will. Say, I must. I must. Say, I can succeed. I can succeed. Say, I will succeed. I will succeed. Say, I pledge allegiance, I pledge allegiance to my greatness. To my greatness. Say, I pledge allegiance, I pledge allegiance to my value. To my value. I pledge allegiance, I pledge allegiance to my self-worth. To my self -worth. I pledge allegiance. I pledge allegiance that I will lead. That I will lead. And I pledge. And I pledge that I will succeed. I will succeed. God bless y'all. Appreciate it.